Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use MDS2 um, with uh, the MDM service to uh, allow the user to do what's called uh, user approved uh, MDM or user initiated MDM enrollment. And so, uh, using a configuration profile downloaded from a web server or a website, um, you can enroll to this MDM server and then it'll automatically set up that machine. Um, so, let me show you a little bit about how I have it set up. I have um, the MDS has this idea of an initial MDM profile that when a machine is originally, when it's initially enrolled, whether it's done through device enrollment, which I showed in another video, or in this video, when it's manually enrolled. Um, so it'll, uh, it'll, you know, uh, the general and setup, this doesn't apply to this, but it'll install the resources. So any packages in this one, I have Google Chrome and the um, monkey client is going to be installed. Any scripts are packaged up and, and pushed out when the uh, machine is enrolled initially and any profiles as well. And the configuration is set up for Monkey. So we can do um, so the managed software center will be configured and users will be able to install through a self-service portal. Um, and also the remote management, it will enable SSH and enable ARD. Um, I don't need to update this because I've already done that before. So what I have here is a, a machine, uh, Mac OS 10.14, um, that has not been enrolled in MDM yet. See, there's no profile um, uh, system preference. And it's just a user or an account that's uh, it's just a, um, a local account. Um, and so if I want to enroll this one into the MDM service, so I'll just go to the website, MDS Central, and we can enroll a device. So I'll click on Enroll a Device, and it'll download that configuration profile and immediately prompt me to do that. I'll click on it, click install, and it should prompt me for um, credentials. There it goes. And that should enroll this machine. There it goes. And then once it has uh, enrolled into the MDM, um, the MDM service, um, it'll detect that new enrollment and kick off the installation of the software as well as any other additional um, configuration profiles. So if we look into the um, uh, applications folder, we should see the application becoming installed. You just saw Google and Chrome got installed. And then we should see uh, Managed Software Center as well. Well, give it a minute to install. And you can see up in the right-hand corner that Apple Remote Desktop has been enabled, and so we're able to screen share immediately through it. All right, so now Managed Software Center has been installed. Um, you can see that uh, we're able to um, install and download um, software. You can also send MDM commands. So for example, if I um, select this device and select MDM command restart device, and then I can restart it, and then it should um, restart that over, uh, send an MDM command uh, through Apple's push notification services, and then the client will connect up and get well, they'll get the command and restart the device. And then once it comes back, I'll show you um, how that so, uh, managed software center is now available and you can install software through that portal. All right, we're back at the login window. So I'll just go ahead and, and put in uh, my information. Um, and then managed software center is able to, if I double, if I open up Managed Software Center and I go to Software, you'll see that I should have a list of uh, software that I can install. Oh, it's refreshing the list right now. There we go. Um, and then I go, let's say I want to install uh, WinClone. So I want to tap on WinClone. It'll go ahead and download that and install it. And so um, it's a great way for the to the for the um, for people to be able to select which software they want to install right through this Managed Software Center. It does get installed in the background, so we don't have to leave it running, and it'll get installed that way. Um, we can also uh, connect up to it through, uh, the, uh, through Apple Remote Desktop because I did enable that. Oh, I chose the wrong one. Let me get this one. Control. Put in my username and password. And now I'm able to screen share onto this device. Um, so you can see that was very easy. So if, if you have machines that already install Mac OS and you want to just be able to use the MDM service to install this additional software um, as well as scripts and any other kind of setups, you can do that. Um, 
the uh, other kind of wonderful thing about MDS is that if you want to be able to use the workflow base uh, um, installation of macOS, you can get it prepped to, to go through this process and preload software, user accounts, and everything like that. So it's uh, just when the user goes through uh, or installs that configuration profile, it'll kick off this process. Process. You can also use the um, the profile section of workflows to be able to install that MDM profile. Um, so you can you can automate this process um, up to the point where you just opt into the user approved MDM. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please be sure to subscribe and check back for more of these videos. And have a great day.